Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your weekend message for all zodiac signs for Saturday the 4th going into Sunday the 5th of December 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this weekend's reading, I am using the Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Krangs. So I thought we'd have a wild weekend, friends. Uh, I do have the uh, the guidebook out for this deck um, because I've not used the uh, Wild Unknown decks for such a long time and you do get out of practice. So anyway, let's get on with the most important part, which is the message. And for this weekend, we are having an inspirational message from Daily Healing Cards for Awakening Your Best Self. Okay, here we go. Oh, thank you. Okay, and your inspirational message is work daily towards improving your mental health. Oh boy. <laughs> so another reminder, another prompt for us from spirit about, you know, our thoughts, what we are thinking and therefore uh, what we are communicating out into the world. So let's just read it again. Work daily towards improving your mental health health. Uh, so spirit wanting an end to um, all of these mental gymnastics that we have been going through. Okay, so let's see what inspirational message spirit has for us to help us with our mental health this weekend. Okay, here we go. Thank you. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? Thank you. For Saturday the 4th going into Sunday the 5th of December 2021. Thank you. Okay, friends, there are no reverse readings with this deck, so we will honour... Kim Kranz and um, if this is coming the reverse I will turn it around okay so your cards are the four of cups okay well that's much better than seeing that devil energy there followed by okay well I'm going to turn that around because that came in the reverse but she only does readings in the upright so this is the seven of pentacles Followed by, wow, oh wow, look at the energy coming from that, friends. The Ace of Wands. So straight away, your first card, Major Arcana, number four. Um, sorry, I'll start again, friends. <laughs> the Four of Cups. We have no Major Arcanas on the table. They are all minor. Wow. OK, the Four of Cups. Well, straight away, I'm drawn to the moon energy. <laughs> Almost like these two coming together to make the one full moon. So the moon energy, uh, full moon on the fourth. Um, also a... Uh, a solar eclipse uh, for those of you lucky enough to to see it um okay the four of cups for the number of uh, stability uh, structure security uh, foundation in the physical in the material world but it's also the number of limitations and boundaries this is the card of discontent 
Um, I do feel it is linked to um, the two cards that we have had previously, as in the liar and the devil, uh, coming at the beginning of the reading, um, because that is around our mental health, uh, whether it's our own thoughts or thoughts being given to us, maybe... Uh, we've had the uh, influencers and influencing energy. Um, this is a card of um, dissatisfaction, discontent. Um, it's disconnection. Um, again, spirit reminding you, um, the divine is always there. It is only ever you that connects, uh, that disconnects. And you disconnect by... Um, <sighs> Going or oh, sinking is the word I'm being given. Thank you. By uh, sinking into um, lower vibration, we hear this is like kind of kind of dark energy, and in dark corners where we would find, um, you know, uh, rats <laughs> lurking and hiding away, um, where really we want to be up in the light. Um, and even in, um, I mean, new moon uh, on Saturday, but full moons, uh, full moon on the 19th and the full moon shining a light in the dark. Um, so this is, um, it's a disconnect between heart and mind coherence um, and therefore um, in this energy not taking care um, of your mental health. Um, I did meditate friends on the um, on the two cards that we have had previously, the liar and um, the devil. Um, and although I didn't kind of receive anything in a meditation, I, I was guided to watch another video in which I heard someone say um, that what's actually going on now, um, if I if I just say maybe with the dark forces, um, is basically an exit strategy. Um, I really liked the thought of that, that um, it's kind of throwing everything at us that it possibly can. Um, really stirring the pot, really stirring the fear factor, um, getting as many of us to disconnect as much as we possibly can. Uh, spirit saying, for your own mental health, <laughs> keep the connection, keep looking for the light, keep facing your true north, I am hearing. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, okay. It's amazing, I felt guided again to bring Ruby's... Um, uh, horseshoe out of course um horseshoes meaning you know that no no evil shall pass um and also you know it's a protection energy as well as um, a lucky energy but i'm really feeling it's it's protection and um i was guided to fetch this out for protection for us for this weekend next we have the seven of pentacles so seven, the number of spirituality, magic, it's the number of, um, it can be research, it can be diligence, um, it can be a job well done. Um, here you have amassed seven pentacles. You have been working really hard, you've been putting the practice in. Um, it's pentacles, so this is um, earth energy, um, it's earth magic I am hearing. You have been um, putting in the practice of earth magic um, and therefore you have um, harvested from all of your hard work these wonderful seven pentacles. However, if we kind of look at the background and the lines here, uh, vertical and horizontal, um, but kind of a mismatch, um, a crossroads energy. This is a pause in the action. This is time for you to reconnect. Um, here you're being disconnected, uh, disconnected from, from your earth magic. Thank you, spirit. You're being disconnected from your earth magic, your earth magic, where you, you create, where you create your reality, where um, you create your reality from your connection um, between you being on earth and your connection with the divine um, in the heavens, in the cosmos, you being that conduit. Um, and spirit saying with this pause in the action, please take the time, meditate, get out in nature, go for a walk, read a book, um, 
visit friends, whatever it takes for you to uh, reconnect um, to your heart, to your spirit, to the divine. Um, and in that reconnection, you will get, you will find realignment, you will get back on the path you will get back to the plan you will know the plan you do know the plan um here you're just disconnected from everything um and spirit really wanting to help you with your mental health with your mental clarity um it's been coming up in the readings um and we have been been given lots of mental torture uh, i am hearing which has uh, really put us into uh, a lot of mental gymnastics uh, it's disconnected us it's caused disharmony um dis-ease in in some of us also um so with this pause in the action make the most of it seven spirituality bringing spirituality back magic back bringing the magic back bringing the earth magic back uh, knowing that you are Powerful, powerful creators, powerful master manifestors. Don't ever forget it, spirit is saying. Whew, okay, so this pause in the action where you reconnect, where you get back on the path, get back to the plan, back on the journey um, of your journey of exactly where you go. Direction. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> Getting back in the direction that you were heading. Wow. And next we have the fabulous Ace of Wands. Um, oh, feel the energy coming from these cards, friends. This truly is you um, with your magic wand, uh, creating earth magic. Um, I'm really drawn to the colours um, as radiating out here. We have red, root chakra, earth energy, grounding, passion, um, ambition, uh, energy, drive, action. Um, I'm also seeing it, it going kind of to orange, your, your sacral chakra, where all of that creative expression resides, where joy, warmth and happiness and you doing things that you just absolutely love to do, going into yellow, solar plexus, um, Oh, where you do radiate the energy of the sun, positivity, uh, clarity, optimism, enlightenment. Okay, wands, fire energy. This is you. Reignited, I am hearing. Um, reconnecting, finding that spark, finding that divine spark within you. Um, it's coming because you are taking this pause this little moment this little time out to re reconnect when you do spirits giving you an ace um, to go along with the new moon and the um, solar eclipse um, a gift a gift of a brand new beginning a brand new start opportunities potentials all around you spirit saying get optimistic really get optimistic friends it's coming um it's a promise i am hearing uh aces representing one uh starts uh new beginnings singular births this is either the birth of um a new creative phase it could be the birth um a physical birth for some of you the news of uh, the patter of tiny feet um but i'm feeling that this is a the collectively we are birthing this wonderful new time a new creative phase oh boy and there's no dark here is there friends it's full of light sunlight optimism magic um divine energy i am picking up on um wow 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 oh wow this is you getting clear this weekend my friends putting your foot back on the path putting your foot back on the spiritual path, reconnecting with your creator and together, oh boy, that divine spark is radiating out into the universe. Wow, wow, wow. Next, we will have a native spirit oracle card by Denise Lynn. Oh, 
Oh, what a beautiful message, friends. Fabulous. What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. And your native spirit oracle card is Spirit of Earth. Oh, friends, take your shoes if it's possible. If it is possible, I mean, we keep having a bit of intermittent snow here, but you know, whenever possible, all oh, just. Oh, dig your feet down into that earth. Ground, grow those roots really deep. When you do that, oh, nothing and no one can pull you from your path or from your divine connection. I am hearing. Wow. OK, grounding, earthing, anchoring. Really, really important this weekend, my friends. So we cannot get carried away by the fear factor I am hearing. Prosperity is blossoming in all areas of your life. You are strong and grounded. Who you are is enough, just as you are. Connect more fully with nature. The spirit of earth asks you to tend to your health. Detoxify your body. Understand how to use your body's psychology. Pay attention to how your body feels and respond accordingly. Create a home for your soul. Have objects in your home that feel good to you every time you see them. Be present. Cherish the here and now. Your native spirit wants you to know the spirit of earth represents your physical self, your physical surroundings. It's OK to make plans for the future, but make sure that you also embrace and appreciate the present. You're deeply and profoundly loved and supported at all times, no matter what's occurring in your life. Trust that all your needs are being met. Take time to create spaces in your home where you feel absolutely at peace. And in doing so, you create a template for peace in all areas of your life. Feel the solidarity and power of the earth beneath you. This is in your core, just as grass pushes up and out of moist ground. Know that fresh new shoots of growth are similarly taking place within you right now. You are grounded, prosperous and strong. Your journey. All the solid forms around you, including your body, are a part of the physical realm. Notice how you, re how you relate to and identify with the physical universe around you. By doing this, you are activating the spirit of earth within you. Let the reality of your relationship with the earth fill your consciousness. Feel it in every pore of your being. Let yourself merge with its energy. Imagine how it would feel to be a rolling hill, a great mountain or a deep canyon. Imagine yourself lying in a meadow of wildflowers high in the mountains. Visualise the roots of the trees extending deep into the soil, reaching down towards the centre of the earth. Ooh, wow, so yes, get grounding this weekend, my friends. Okay, next we will have the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit, also by Kim Kranz. And let's see what our totem animal is for this weekend. But it's definitely not a rat. <laughs> I'm not feeling it's a rat at all. Oh, OK. We'll take that. Well, there's a, two or three cards there, but Spirit's saying it is the top one. So um, it is B, energy, uh, the element of air. Oh, wow. Prosperous. So here we go, friends. And here we go with this book again. <laughs> so out of practice. 
Oh, bear with me. There we go. B. Earnest, hard-working, democratic. The B personality is a delight to be around, especially when there's a team project on the horizon. Bees love to work steadily and thoughtfully until the final task is complete. They are sensitive creatures, aware of many subtleties at once. Since they're artists at heart, they usually add creative details to an overall vision. For the most part, they have bustling, joyous personalities until they're too tired from all the hard work. Then they gripe and then they sting. So when you are in balance, you are content, active and vibrant. When you are out of balance, overworked and annoyed and to bring you back into balance, a mini vacation. Oh, yeah. Get out there, friends. Get yourselves out there. Uh, and also I'm feeling... Um, OK. Spirit saying, that, you know, bees... Uh, workers there's a sense of community there's a sense that they um you know they make that hive work by uh working together um so i'm really feeling that there's a sense of community spirit here so um maybe coming together as a community soul tribes kindred spirits like-minded people um when we do that, we raise the frequency, the energy, the vibration uh, in a more positive way. And when we do that, oh boy, do we turn the light on and this dark shrinks further and further and further away. Oh yes, <laughs> we will take that spirit. Thank you very much. OK, well, here we go. The Magic of Unicorns by Diana Cooper, who I lovingly call my trusty steeds. Oh, let's call on Ruby now. She's there again. <laughs> wow. OK, let's call on Ruby now. The kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from spirit? Woo! Okay. Thank you. From spirit. I meant from Ruby, the kind red spirit. <laughs> it's a good job she knows what I'm on about. <laughs> okay. Well, she had a card nonetheless. And so your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is... Listen to your heart. Another number seven. Um, so this pause in the action, uh, this little crossroads that you are finding yourself at. Uh, Ruby saying, really tune in. Listen to your heart. This is getting that heart and mind coherence back again. Um, when you do, you awaken your psychic abilities and then you tune into the infinite Wow, uh, we have a tree here, uh, the tree of life. We do have the snake around it. Um, OK, so again, being reminded, um, growing those roots really uh, deep into Mother Earth. Wow, a beautiful illustration. And let's see what the message is from the magnificent Ruby. And Ruby says, with this card... Your guidance is to develop and fine-tune your senses. Every chakra sends out antenna to feel physically into the energies around you. If you are clairsentient, your sacral chakra may pick up the feelings and emotions of others, then absorb them as your own. If this is the case, ask your unicorn to raise the frequency of your sacral chakra so that you are able to empathise spiritually and soothe the pain of others without taking it on. Invite your unicorn to pour light 
into your solar plexus chakra until it becomes golden. Then it will send out feelers to seek the wisdom in situations and the higher solutions to deal with them. The greatest psychic centre of all is the heart. For when this is illuminated with love, compassion and empathy, you have a true connection with people, animals and the angelic realms. You become one with all, so you are physically attuned to others at every level. Your third eye is a vast chakra for clairvoyance and enlightenment. Your unicorn particularly links to your heart and third eye, so your guidance is to breathe pure white light into these centres and sense them becoming brighter and more sensitive. When you draw this card, your crown chakra is being triggered to send out connections to the universe. Be open to clear cognizance, clear knowing, so that keys and codes of true wisdom and light can be downloaded into you. And Ruby says to develop your psychic uh, to develop your psychic abilities ask your unicorn to place a ring of light around you then ask it to touch the following chakras your sacral to attune to others with detached compassion your solar plexus to explore wise solutions your heart to look for oneness your throat throat to develop clairaudience your third eye to develop clairvoyance and your crown to tune into universal wisdom and your affirmation is my unicorn attunes my psychic senses my unicorn attunes my psychic senses my unicorn attunes my psychic senses and so it is okay friends so we have three uh one silver two gold so one silver um, the colour of the um, sacred divine feminine. Uh, we have a little bunch of grapes. Uh, to me, this is um, really representing um, uh, abundance. It's representing harvest. Um, and it wants to go on the Ace of Wands because um, Spirit is saying uh, this is where you need to put all your all of your efforts, all of your focus, focus, all of your intention um, on your future, um, on what you want to grow for yourself um, in your on your journey. I am hearing. OK, next we have. An oyster shell with a pearl. Uh, pearls, pearls of wisdom. Um, but of course, shells, um, they do come from um, deep down at the bottom of the sea. So um, I'd, I'd like to think, or I always receive, um, when I pick the shell up, that there's... There's some coming from the dark to the light. Um, so it does want to go on this first car. Um also being roused from um, ignorance, I am hearing, um, and spiritual enlightenment, um, the, the pearl of wisdom giving you spiritual enlightenment, wow, and last but not least, our beautiful big golden uh, butterfly gold, the colour of the divine, uh, the sacred divine masculine, representing this huge time of transformation, uh, transcendence and change that we are going through. And it's on a personal level. It's also on a collective level. This is where we can come together and help each other um, on this journey. Um, and fertility on earth, okay, spirit, uh, butterfly wanting to go on spirit of earth, reminding you, um, oh, the earth is fertile, spirit is saying, so start planting those seeds, um, those seeds of a better future, a brighter future, a happier future, uh, brighter times ahead, I am hearing, where we are connected connected to the divine connected to one another uh, through our hearts uh, wow 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 what a wonderful message 
for this weekend my friends and I truly hope you all have an absolutely fabulous weekend if anyone manages to take any pictures um, of this uh, of our solar eclipse then um, send them to me I'll put them up on the community page um, and yes friends as I've said have a fabulous weekend well thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome new subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits thank you too for your warm kind encouraging comments and emails i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so my wonderful friends may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed weekend and until next time my friends goodbye <laughs>